Hello everybody, tonight I'll try something new, I'll be recording myself playing a new game, it's the first time I'm doing that, so I hope I will be the good and I hope I won't suck at this game. And before we start, I need to specify that English is not my first language, so I will do mistake for sure and I'm sorry about all of the mistake I will do. So the game tonight I will try, it will be a big pharma that I buy on Steam. It was for sale uh, until September 26, I think. So I, I'll make it a try. I already, I already play a little bit of the game because I did the, the sixth uh, first mission of the tutorial that explained a little bit more about the game. So for you for you guys, if you don't know what is it, Big Pharma is a game that you will make pills and you try to earn to earn uh, money with the pills that you are selling. So the first mission I'll try with you guys is in, it's the beginner one, the first one bottom line. So the objective is to earn one million dollars before the year ten. So. Let's make it a try. First, you will have to choose a company name and to choose one of the avatar for your chief executive officer. So I'll try. Well, I'll take this one. It's like the younger boys. Uh, maybe this one. And I'll name my company Tengarius. Uh, for you of as White and Gorgeous. I used to play um, a long time ago EverQuest 2 and EverQuest 1 and I had a character named Tengator but Tengator is not a well suit name for a company so I decided to put um, Tengarius. So if it's your first time seeing Big Pharma I'll explain a little bit of the UI and all the controls. So first of all on the bottom left you have the controller for the um, speed and if you want to pose a game so you have three speed and you have pose when you are in the production um, tab it's actually your warehouse and everything where you will make your pills and do your setup for all these um, all these um, tools that will make the pill for you you also have the ingredient that you start with two ingredients and you can research some. On the top right corner you have the um, explorer, that is the one that will go discovery new, discovery new ingredient. And when they are uh, idle there, they will make some um, ingredient upgrade point that it's that you can use after to upgrade uh, your ingredient that you have. Each box like this have five small rectangles under the, um, the upgrade and basically the upgrade is depending on um, ingredient, curves, research or the other type. For the ingredient in the upgrade is the uh, discount so it will be cheaper to buy that ingredient. The, uh, the other panel there is the curves one. Uh, this is the final product that you can make. Actually right now I'm, I can do painkiller and anti him. These two can be upgraded. The painkiller the pain can be uh, in upgraded in his migraine and the other one can be upgraded in the alleviate insomnia. So you have some other few pills that you can make. Each of them will be available when you will unlock new ingredient. This one is the ingredient that will do the painkiller, and this one is the ingredient that will do the antihistamine. So, like I said, here you have the income that will generate this pill, and if you upgrade, it will be that income, the uh, 227. And you also have the research tab that is all the um, the component that you can put 
in your production site to make some pills. Each upgrade reduce the process cost because each time you make a pill with one of these um, equipment it will cost you something to do them and it's the same pattern as the the ingredient you have some um, person that is that will be working for you each upgrade need uh, one, two, three, or four person, and it's the duration. It's the time it's take to do the uh, the research. So you have a few a few research that you can do, uh, depending on which type of pill you'll be doing. You'll need to uh, unlock some of them, and it will be the same thing as ingredient. Some of them have a special effect, as you can see, the little. Uh, to that and uh, to green that mean catalyst and you also have another one that is not there for the moment and the last um, last tab is the all your product that you're all the pills that you're actually doing right now I have no pills because I'm doing nothing and you have your cash flow and production operating profit and how much the export and science fees scientist uh, cost. This is basically the person that you hire here to do some research or uh, exploration or research depending on the scientist, scientist or explorer or if they are making some uh, points to upgrade everything. So let's try it out. I'll explain a little bit during the game how it's uh, done and I hope you'll enjoy this. So first thing I'll try to do, um, I'll try to do the painkiller because when you mouse over like this, you can see that this all the red one are side effects and the green one will be the uh, final product. So if I want to do painkiller, most of uh, well when I do them first, they will have a side effect that is constipation, but you can remove this thing, uh, the side effect. If you uh, if if you uh, <laughs> if you build a requirement, sorry, I was searching for some for how I will do. I will say that. So this one is the more simple to do, and I can remove the side effects. So the final pill will make more profit and more income because it will be a better quality painkiller since you won't have any side effects. So the way it's work, when you go in your production tab you have like a small spot like this on the wall. All these can be import or export products so you can import from there and your final product can be shipped by this door. So the first the first one I'll do is the painkiller and the painkiller need to be arranged to 5 to 12 so it will be okay I'll do it there so the in the production um, tab you have the uh, toolbox that you can do um, the basic auxiliary and all the equipment you need to make the product so the bell is basically where all the pill and material material will go from and to the equipment and the basic now I only have the dissolver and the, the evaporator because these are the one that will go in the, rece the research table so the ionizer, agglomerator and all these can be unlocked by the research so ionizer is there, agglomerator is there and I forgot all the other one so the first thing I'll do is because I want to remove the side effect uh, this one need to go in the evaporator and we already have the evaporator nice and the other one um, this one cannot be removed so okay so let's do the painkiller So the first thing you have to do is to import your material, so you only need to um, click on the pod on the walls and it will go in the ingredient and you will be able to import by the import button up there. 
So the first one will be the painkiller, so we will import that material from there. So as you can see, the illustrate show you which ingredient you're making. So I'll do just one step to have an ingredient. So as you can see, uh, it cost me 35 bucks because when you go into your ingredient, it's the cost by ingredient to import one. And if you click on that, you have the um, information about the current state there of this material. So right now, if I want to do painkiller, my current um, active range, I don't know how they call that, um, my current state of the material is at 13 and the painkiller, the range to be active is between 5 and 12. So I need to lower the current um, concentration of the product and to be able to remove that I need to be uh, between 13 and 17 so right now I'm in 13 so if I want to re remove the constipation side effect I need to pass the material in the evaporator so let's do that uh, when you build this uh, dragon uh, click and drag or only click so now I need the evaporator and the um, the well mouse is to rotate the uh, equipment the green arrow will be where the material came in and the red one is where it's come out from the equipment so I'll just put like this and do one there so like I said this one decrease the concert concentration by one each time a material passed there it costs ten dollar to process and the process time is one um, when you make the pill it will be the pill printer and as you can see the process time is two so with one line of product like this you can make uh, two pills at the same time because the pill printer will take two uh, the process time is basically a daytime a circle of one day so it's take two day to do the uh, pills and each material process time is one so if I only put one pill printer we'll have a bottleneck on on the uh, on the line the production so I'll make less money so as you can see, before it passed to the uh, evaporator, the current state was at uh, 13, and once it's passed there, it removed the side effect because we were in the range of 13, 17, and to remove it, we make it pass in the, into the evaporator. So after this, I have a product there that have no side effect because I remove it with, with the evaporator but now I'm at 14 and the painkiller range is 5 to 12 so I need to lower down two concentration to make a good painkiller so basically when you go in the toolbox on the left part it's all the equipment that decrease the concentration and the other one is where you increase the concentration so since I'm at 40, uh, 14 and I need to go down to uh, 12, I'll have to put two dissolver. So I'll put uh, like this, one there, one there, and I'll be aiming that door to uh, to move out my pills. So. I put the bell, connect these two, so now they could they get out of the evaporator and go that way inside this. I put there another way out in this. So if I go a little bit faster there, as you can see they pass through. And when I come here, now the range is correct because at the end after they pass this dissolver it's at 12 so it's a, 
the range of painkiller, so the material that will be coming out here will be good to make a painkiller because it's in the range and we will have no side effects. So, like I said, when you put pain uh, pill maker, the process time it's two, so I'll be able to make two row there. Connect this one to this one. Connect this one to this one, and connect this one. Invalid position. There. So it will be coming there. It need two day to process there. So I will have one switching on the other line and going into the other pill maker. And at the end, two pill will go out and it will go out outside. So yeah, I have the pain maker. It will be done in there and the pill printer will make a good pill there that have no side effects so it's perfect and it's a basic painkiller each time you make some new pills with all the different uh, with all the with all the different uh, side effect and uh, if you have great painkiller and everything you will have a pop-up when you go um, when you export it to name your new product. So the video I was looking when I saw the game the first time said that the name generated by um, the game is generally a good name and a pain reliever I think is a good name. So I'll go like this. So now if I go in the uh, company tab, I'll see that. Gamma Group, it's like my competitive, uh, my competitor that will make some product too. I have no product, and me, I have the uh, pain reliever that I'm, we just make together, and the rating is C. That's it's a good rating for them um, for the first product, and as you can see, uh, we have no side effect. So I'll let it go like this. On the bottom of the screen here, you have the money. So I have $42,000 uh, and each day I'm losing $6. So we're not making money right now. So I'll, we'll make another um, another ingredient f for the moment. I just want to see if this one can be upgraded and it will be an evaporator. Okay, so we'll do something. From that part, if you mouse over there, you will see that if I want to upgrade this material at that point of the in my production line, I need to increase the um, the uh, concentration to seven or uh, between seven or ten, and make it pass into an evaporator. So at that point here. We were at 14, here we are at 13 and 12. So I need to decrease, I need to um, decrease more the concentration to be able to upgrade it. So I'll split that line. If you right click on uh, an equipment, you will have the um, a pop, a pop up uh, menu that you can sell the equipment or move the equipment because I will make some other pills I will just move it there for the moment and I will split that line into uh, two lines that will make the pill that we are doing, the painkiller but I will make that line go somewhere else to make the upgrade version, the Ease Migraine so I need to go down two again two more So. I'll go like this and I'll make another one like this. You cannot um, put an equipment just by the exit of the another one. They, have, they need a bell between them so you cannot like collapse two equipment together. So I need to make a space between and link them with the um, the belt. So at that point I'll be at 12, it will pass there, decrease by 1, so at the end it will be at 11, 
and after the, the material here will be at 10 so once I will be at 10 I will have the pre-requirement to upgrade it and I will need to pass it again into an evaporator so I'll need another uh, well that's Okay, I'll make it like this. Yep. Okay. So this bell will be connected to that one. This one will come here. We'll put back the pill maker. And we will come and connect that here. And remove that thing. So now because that pill maker is taking two to process, if I leave it with one line, I will always have one material waiting there because they're moving each day like one process time. So this one, this one is one, this one is one. So I have no waiting time on that line until here. So they will split there. This one is one process time and they all same thing so it's all one and here it will be two process times so I will have um, one pill from here and one pill from here and this line here at the at the end they will have uh, one space between each of them because it will be splitting there so at the end we we'll have a fully uh, non-stop uh, production of pills but I will have the painkiller and this line will be, will be the upgrade one so let's see if I'm not stupid and we'll see how it work so here the first one go there this one is split this one go out so this one can enter I'm waiting this one split so here it will go up ah uh, well I fuck it up I'm stupid okay so we will sell that what will be moving there? <laughs> At that point, we had to uh, decrease to 10, and I put the uh, evaporator, so I was increasing. Okay, and they are all in the other way. Yeah, I fired up. Okay, so let's do it again. So this thing will go like this. This thing will go like this. So at that point I'm at 12, I need to go down to 10. So 11, 10. After I need to pass to an evaporator. This and after I can make the build. Okay, so there, there, connect, and this thing connect there. Okay, so now we'll have two lines <laughs> making the pills. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's my first time, like I said, and I was, I was dumb. So this one is at actually at uh, 12. So it will go in that thing that will decrease by one. So at the end, it will be 11. From here, so this one go one down again. If I pause here, actually I'm at ten, so I'm good to go for the upgrade. If I pass the material in the evaporator, and let's hope the final product it's the same range of painkiller. Nope, I'll have to decrease again. So right now I'm at 11, but the um, the he's migrant need to be between uh, 5 and 9, so I need to lower from 2 again.
invalid position. Okay, let's sell them because they are in the way. Well. I think I'll just make there the exit. So I need one more. Invalid position. And I can move these. So right now right now I'll have always one space between them, but I will be able when I will be buying this part to connect the final product to that line and it will be um, continue production. Right, right now I'll have the same problem on the other end, this one will be always um, skip with uh, one space between them because here we are splitting the two line. So if I'm not wrong here I have the perfect range. I'm at 9 and it need to be f between 5 and 9. So the exit final product here will be a easy migrant product without any side effect again. So a perfect product. product and I'll required. have to name it Migrant Catcher. Yeah, it's a good name for, for that. So now I have two production of two different products. If I'm posing right here, I'll go in the company. So I have the painkiller and the Ease Migrant. Both of them are made from the same ingredient. And if I go in the panel curve, we are making this one and this one. And actually, I didn't check at the first time, but the painkiller is at uh, 110%. So the uh, the domain is, is high and also the his migraine it's at one one hundred three so that product is also uh, in demand so the next one uh, should the next one that will be good to do is the smooth cut here from the lung so if I go in the ingredient when I mouse over here we have for the long missing, we have for the uh, psychological, and we also have the skin one. So to be able to research this material, I'll need one explorer, so I'll hire one here, so I have one in total, and I'll make it go there, so it'll go search and discovery this ingredient to make uh, the product with the long uh, with the uh, for, to cure the lung problem, so this one will be uh, good to go. I'll let I'll let uh, that research go, and maybe we'll do the um, this product. You see, the good part is if I go back on production, it will be uh, easier to show you. Um, suppose I take that part the raw material. When you have the side effects you always have the range of the active um, the active uh, concentration. So when the concentration is between 3 and 11 the cause cons uh, constipation is active so in that case I didn't have, uh, it was not needed to pass it through there to remove the effect because if I was doing a painkiller with the concentration of 12, at 12 the constipation side effect was not, uh, was not active. So that part here is useless because with the painkiller with concentration of 12, I, I wouldn't have any side effect because I was out of the range. So if I go back and the uh, ingredient, this one won't have any side effects when it will be in the range of 2 to 8 because the side effect is in 12 
and between 12 and 20 and if I go in the curve panel you'll see that this one is between 12 and 17 so it will be in the range for the uh, nightmares the uh, index uh, in induces nightmare so I can do the anti uh, stamian without any side effects so this is what I'll go and do right now for the moment I have no more space there um, as you can see I can buy this part this part or uh, this one over here so I will go with the part downstairs I think it will be better so I will import the this ingredient to be able to do the uh, anti stamen product so I will import that one and I'll just make one bell because I have no idea what I'll, uh, what I'll need to do so right now I'm at the con uh, concentration of 10 and this time is between 2 and 8 so I need to downgrade to concentration so the first one will be like this and the other one will be like well mm -hmm. will be like this so this one will be connecting there one there this one will go that way I will have to pill maker and this one will go out there so that one will be simple the product will go there it will go down to one so I'm at concentration nine when they will pass in that one they will pass from 9 to 8 so at that point antistamine is ready to go I'll make two pills one on each pill maker and the final product will have no side effect because the nightmare is between 12 to 20 product name required and I need to name my new product stamen stomper yeah, it's time and some pretty good. Make another one to continue that mission. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.